Hi, my name is Denisha, and I passed my NCLEX on my very next time. Guys, I didn't know what I was going to do. I graduated May 2020, and um, I thought I was ready. I thought I had it in the bag. But when I got there and I saw that fail, I was devastated. I didn't know what I did wrong. I didn't know. I, I lost my confidence in myself. I was embarrassed. Um, I would go to work and leave out the side door so no one would ask me about the test. And I, I was mortified. One day I was on the internet looking for different test styles and how to approach it. And there Mo was. God, thank you for sending me Mo. Let me tell you, I did Remar. I did Simple Nursing. I did Mark Lamech. I did U World. I did Sarah RN. I did all those programs. I invested so much. But then after after buckling down and purchasing the self-paced program with Mo, I realized what the big difference was. The difference was he focused on prioritizing. I had no idea that I didn't know how to prioritize patients, you know, when stuff happened. And that was the key for the NCLEX is like prioritize, prioritize what you're going to do first, what's safe. And all of those things that I thought I was choosing were wrong. And when I got in this uh, program, 41 episodes, it's 41 episodes, y'all. I finished within three and a half weeks. And I spent a week just going over questions. See, I got the test bank through Mo, but I said, this is Mo's test bank. Mm -mm. I got to test it out on other people's questions to see if it really works because this is Mo's thing. I want to go see if Mo's, uh, what he taught me works on other questions and they just start working. I was prioritizing like that. And I stopped pushing my date back. I got confident and stopped pushing my date back. And on Thursday, March 2021, I showed up. I was ready. I sat down. And I tell you, when I took my NCLEX, I did what he said. The most important thing that I did was I visualized myself as the person in the room on the highway with the major accident I was that person. I wasn't reading the question. The question became me. And I was like, okay, I'm on the scene. I see this. Okay, what am I going to do? Who am I going to do first? What am I going to do first? I became the person on every question. It was like 3D. I did it. And my prioritizing was, to me, I was doing it great. (sighs) While I was going through all of this, There were so many obstacles. I was going through a separation, working graveyard. You know, the failures kept setting in that, you know, the doubt, can you do this? Can you do this? Can you do this? But I shut it all out. I shut it all out for this one time. I didn't care about a separation. I didn't care about the little little person in my head saying, you ain't going to be able to do it. I Stuck to the plan. My plan was to study every day, even on the weekends. Study every day. Now, to breathe now. But I studied every day. And I studied. And when I got through, I just couldn't believe it. I tried to say, Mo didn't teach me this. And I started laughing like, oh, my God. Girl, stop lying to yourself. Mo is the truth. I don't give no, I don't give everybody that, that title. Mo is the truth. If you're on the fence about this program, take it from me. I have a busy social life. But Mo is the truth. You can do it. You can do it. Thank you so much, Mo. Thank you for finding me. There's some kind of way God dropped you in my life. And I am a RN. I walk in the front door. I took my... Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I could go on and on. Thank you, Mo.